thinking as I was coming back here. What's that? I was doing, I've been doing like, because of like the type of stuff I'm doing, I do all these fucking like, all these political guys want you to come onto their channel. Oh, of course. And, like I'm always, like, but I'm so fucking busy and I, but I, like the big ones I take and I'm always like so tired and it just tires me out. And then it's like whenever you like do stuff with funny people, you're like, oh, I was like, like before this, I did a huge hour long interview and I was like, literally like, oh, I don't even know how to do this. And then when I was like hanging out with you guys, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm like fine. It's just like I hate doing that shit. <laughs> it's a hang. It's a hang. It's it's rock and roll. It tires right? you out, dude. It's like talking to you know like a coworker that you don't like. It's negativity, dude. It's a, it's a, I'm learning all this in my meditation training that I'm doing, but it is very bad for you, dude. No, because they're put, they're forcing you into a negative space in your brain and your it's like it's like you're on for an hour. Your break your yeah, heart yeah. breaks on. It's There's just either, a lot of mental load of like oh what show am I on? What types of opinions should I put out? Like it's just yeah. not it's not good. And they so want e they're either yeah. like they're either you do it and they're like defend yourself of why you're not racist or they're like yo tell us about the last lib you pwned. <laughs> There's like no in between. <laughs> There's no you're in like, between, eh? <laughs> yeah, you're like I don't really like do that. I don't know. <laughs> That's hilarious. Dude, I remember on your last podcast I listened to you're talking about how you're just in your mind just caught up with some argument. Like you someone's talking shit about you on the internet and then you're on the subway or whatever and you're just like, "Oh yeah, well, uh, well maybe the <laughs> argument is this." Like you just like are having I these know. arguments in your head for an hour. It's so true, dude. I mean, that takes that's brain power. I know. That's, like two, that's why hours. I've decided like I, I you go either way and you can build an audience off of like arguing with people and all that stuff. But I really decided there was like a, a few people and I just go, you know what? I'm going to let it go and I'm going to not respond and I'm not going to respond. Like, so I let it all go. And then I, I was like, I think I'm just going to block those people and be like, you know, you're not allowed to not like me. You can make videos about how much you like me, but I'm not going to like argue with you. And then like later on I'm doing work and I'm some like, I'm open my Twitter and there's argument that I took. Like if there was a time limit, I would say, Hey, well, let's argue for the next 15 minutes. Let's do it. But it <laughs> yeah. doesn't work that way. It's like, it goes on and they're fans and you're and like, so then you're kind of you're just always on your brain. You're just always in this war and it's not a good way to make good comedy and stuff. That's for damn sure. <laughs> no, yeah, for yeah. sure. You got to get them on the live stream. That's what I do with all the guys that I like. If they if they get mad or they say that's, that's not what true you or whatever, I say, come on the stream. Let's just have a little talk. But Stephen, the difference is that you have people that are actually like, okay, honestly, Ryan, he reviews con artists, right? So yeah, a con artist I mean. coming to argue with him and the con, like, it's an aggressive fight, but oh, nobody gives a shit about this con artist. Oh yeah, but Ryan, it's yeah, like yeah. Uh, like let's just say you get into a fight with like a feminist or something. Or like You're some going big to YouTuber you. that's like whatever, you know? Or it's a bigger, yeah, sure. But I find with a lot of those, like I remember when Kurt Metzger was getting canceled, he had all these women on the show, like they're, they're prominent feminists. They were like, we know you didn't do anything wrong here, but you just ripped and dipped on him too hard, baby. And that's it. And these, these three, four girls are like, no, you're done. You're not working again. Yeah. We're writing articles. We're good. So, you know, yeah, what, what I, I do is, what that, I do is totally like, different. What I do is totally different. Right. Like yeah. what, when, what happens on my show, the worst thing that happens on my show is people just tell me they're going to sue me. And that's, See, that's the, another thing. Though. That's the worst thing that happens to me. They just go, I'm going to sue you. And I'm like, no, why don't you come on? And yeah, I've, I've just, these people are nut jobs. These like self-help entrepreneurs. Like I'm going to make you into a millionaire. Who's, the, who's like one of the, one of the two, the, one of the people. D this guy, Dan Locke is like one of What's them. What's his name? 1987? No, 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 no. They all pay. No, they all their courses are $1,000, $997. A thousand nine hundred ninety-seven dollars. What are some of the big ones that like? Because I, I actually, just, I you know. Oh, you got your Dan Locks of the world. You've okay. got people like know. that. You've got your John Cristanis. You've got your. I mean, do you do you know like Grant Cardone? I haven't done a big piece on Grant Cardone yet. No, I think I'm evidence. thinking of more like I'm thinking more like Tim Ferriss. -y, and I'm like I kind of. No, like no, him. dude. This Brian Cristani, oh, Ryan, you love Ferriss him. Ferriss is fine. I like Tim Ferriss. Cristani, dude. Cristani paid. You know Chris Hansen. This, this guy did a video about it. It's so <laughs> funny. You know Chris Hansen to catch a predator. Yeah, he course. paid Chris I Hansen. I my now. house last week. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Christani runs this like, I don't know. Okay, he was in the comment section last week. He kind of sells these scam courses, whatever. Maybe they're not scam, whatever. But he hires Chris Hansen to do an expose on other scam courses with him. So there's a whole right. video of him and oh, Chris Hansen. Right. Dude, it's so funny. <laughs> they're like, like, those guys are all scams, but I'm the real deal. <laughs> that's exactly it. The guy's no, like, I have I have an internet marketing expert and 100%. we're going to reveal and it's Cristani. No, and, and the guy like, goes, the guy goes, buy my book of how to not get scammed. It's free for a dollar. You go to the course, it's a dollar, but then it's a $40 a month recurring charge if you don't cancel your credit <laughs> oh card. So the don't scam book is itself a scam. <laughs> <laughs> 
Dude, the amount of people that even like <laughs> message me these days and be like, hey, I've got this like big thing. We have these people and we know how to grow your YouTube following and oh, this and that. And I'm like, huge. yeah, but my channel's triple the size of yours. It's like, if anything, <laughs> you should be asking me for advice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, 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 no. That's no, that's absolutely massive. Here, can I show yeah. this? Yo, let's, let's see. Let let's me see the video. here, here, here. It's here. So good. Let me show this, guys. Let me show this. These guys from Scam Report just tried to copyright strike my video. They're trying to take oh, it down because uh, they don't like it. So they're like. So they're, what happened? What, what do you mean they tried? Like they obviously put one on, but it didn't stick. Or how does it work? It didn't. St YouTube's been like weird. They've been like taking my side recently. I guess because mm -hmm. I win so many. I don't know if it's because I'm winning a lot of them, but White privilege. they're just like. Yeah, dude. I'm actually half Cuban, and I take that all the way to the bank.